Hey folks, what's up? It's Matt and Jim here with Downrange Firearms Training. Uh, one of the things I want to talk to you guys today about is safety equipment on the range. It's something not a lot of people talk about when, you know, we do holster reviews and gun reviews and stuff like that. And safety equipment is something that's kind of paramount that, that kind of gets lost in translation because it's just assumed that you're going to have it. So safety, safety gear in particular is eye and ear protection. Uh, we're going to focus today right now on eye protection. Everybody knows me, I always wear the, the mirrored sunglass, it's kind of like my, my, uh, my thing. And you'll notice today I'm not wearing those mirrored sunglasses, I'm still wearing my Revision Health Flies, but they're not the mirrored ones, and the reason why is, uh, the last time I was wearing my mirrored sunglasses, I was instructing, and I had a student's ricochet hit me right in the glasses, take a nice little chunk out of the glasses right there. My hand <clears throat> immediately went to my face, and I'm just like, oh, you know, thankfully, I'm wearing these ballistically rated glasses because Ricochet went right off the glasses, didn't affect me whatsoever. I was continue, able to continue instructing and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm thankful for the revision glasses. They are ballistically rated. If you go to the revision website, they have a video on there of somebody actually shooting the, these glasses, not these glasses in particular, but same, uh, same lenses with a shotgun. And that is the superior ballistic protection that these glasses afford you. Too many people will just go, <clears throat> you know, to a... Uh, a gun shop or one of the you know one of the big chain stores and buy a five or ten dollar pair of glasses and there's there's really no need for it these this is like what do you use more in the range than your your eye and your ear protection nothing really okay you get different guns you bring to the range stuff like that you spend all kinds of money on optics and ammo and accessories for your guns our eyes and our ears are things that we can't get back um, so I'm a big fan of the revision health lies and I've recently converted Jimmy over to a set of revisions. Jimmy's been wearing Oakleys forever. Uh, you know, he wore them in Iraq and stuff like that, so it's kind of hard to get him away from the from the Oakleys. But I got him a set of these Viper Tails, and um, yeah, I want to have him talk about his his experience with the Viper Tails. Cool. So I want to hit on one of the points <clears throat> you actually made uh, about people just going out and spending five, ten dollars on a pair of cheap sunglasses. People go the opposite direction too. We have a lot of people Gucci warriors and want to go out. You know, have these crazy $500 sunglasses that look cool in magazines, uh, make you look like a boss, but they're not going to protect your eyes. Uh, I'm kind of guilty of that. Like Matt said, I've always been a huge Oakley fan. Uh, M frames are a big thing in the military, they're standard issue. Granted, they don't look very cool here. Uh, so, generally speaking, I've always worn these Oakley fuel cells. Uh, and they're pretty stylish, but they're not really functional for the range. Uh, that's where the Viper Tails come in from Revision. And these are pretty cool for a couple reasons. Uh, they're, a, they're cheaper, uh, which is always nice on the wallet. B, uh, they have some upgraded pieces here. If we look on the bands, these are actually rubberized and they're bendy, unlike these Oakleys, which would just shatter. Uh, also inside on the nose, there's some rubber grip pieces too, which help keep them on your face. Uh, it may not seem like a lot, but while you have ear pro on, especially uh, like the big over the ears, like these. Yeah, like these ones. They can put some uh, some stress and some tension on them, so these <clears throat> these don't really fit too well. But with these, they kind of collapse down to your face, and they can bend and fit a little bit better. Um, so yeah, Matt was able to uh, you know convert me from these things over to these. I'm super happy I did. They're just a lot more functional uh, compared to just some of these other things on the market right now. Yeah. So again, guys, you know it's something you should take very seriously because we're we're talking about your 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 eyes here, and you only get one set of eyes. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, it, it's something you should definitely consider. And when I say make an investment, you know, Jimmy said they're they're cheap and not cheaply made, cheap in the wallet as opposed to some of the other things that are out there. And they offer extremely superior ballistic uh, protection for your eyes. So it's something you guys should think about going down the line. You know, how many $10 sets of sunglasses or, or shooting glasses do you scratch and throw away or whatnot? Save your money, spend a couple bucks, get yourself a nice set of revisions. I'm a big fan of the Hell Flies. Uh, Jimmy likes the Viper Tails. The Alpha Wings are some really nice glasses too. So, you know, spend the money, save your eyes. You're gonna, you're gonna have them for a while. Um, I mean, I've had these for over a year that I've been using and I can still use them, just now they get a little chip in them. So, that's the thing guys, you know, it's something to, to definitely take seriously and something to, to look into as far as your, you know, the prolonging your, your shooting career essentially goes. So, check Revision out, revisionmilitary.com. Check, check us out on the web, drftraining.com. Hit us up on Facebook. Like the video, subscribe to our channel. Remember guys, only hits count.